Hey everyone, this is T with Marie and I'm so happy to get back to you guys because I have a great video on how we are going to show you just how to do another level up for your business. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can create your own professional email with Canva even if you have a free account. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to sign up for Canva. You can sign up by just going to canva.com as I have up here. And of course you can sign up for free. So we're going to click this box right here. And I'm going to sign up with a Google. So now as you can see, I have signed up and you can choose up here who you are if this is for personal use small business or whatever i'm just gonna put personal here and then um, you can also start a free trial right here you can do that by clicking the link below um, as well and it'll take you right there and you will get a free 30-day trial and i'm gonna put maybe later on mine okay thing that I am going to do is going to be showing you guys how to create your own professional email by using a free Canva account. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead up top and hit on create a design. I am going to put in a custom size. So I'm going to choose custom and I'm going to do this 600 pixels by 200 pixels and I'm gonna select create design. Okay, so it's asking if we want to start with the template, but I'm gonna go ahead and just slide this first template over. Okay, so now that we have clicked on a template, now you're gonna just rearrange this in a way that looks nice to you. So what I like about this template is the font. I love this font. It's a great place to put follow me or let's connect um i like this font here because it's very clear so i'm just gonna put i'm marie here and then what i do want to change about this is i would love for my photo to be over here the first thing that the person sees uh, when they look at my email signature and up here i would probably put my title and for here i'm just gonna put um, content creator so you can put whatever your title is there and then i'm just going to go ahead and look for some icons okay so you go over here to elements and then i'm gonna look for social media icons like facebook you can just type it in facebook icon if you have a Facebook page, uh, you can select this here. Oh, it's moving around, of course. And then you can go ahead and look for Instagram. I love circles, you guys, so you can use circles or you can use um whatever you like and then i'm also going to put in youtube and i found a circle that looks like that honestly usually what i do is i really create a second page so you can click this plus sign here that says add page and that's usually where I go and form up my icons so that I know that they're all the same size. So I stack them on top of each other and then I draw a big square around it so I can encompass all of them. And I click this position at the top and then I click center. As you can see, they're already centered and I choose middle as well to make sure that they're all the same. And then I click this again and then I size it by dragging it to 24 by 24. So now I'm going to separate these guys by clicking off of them and then separating them out. 
And then another thing that I'm going to do is click a box around them again. I'm gonna click position and I am gonna click tidy up so that they have the same spacing between all of them right here. That is what that button does. And then after I do that, I'm going to group them together so that they do not move when I move them. They move together. So around here is where I'm gonna place that. I'm gonna slide this back up so we can see what's going on. And I'm gonna just put this over here just a little bit. I'm gonna shrink it down a little. And then I am going to use this same font to put my website information or I'm going to, what I did was just copy and paste that down again. So you can put in your website information or you can put in your um, social media tag. So mine would be at T with Marie and that would be on all social media platforms. So that makes it easy for people to follow you on these social media platforms, okay? So the next thing that you wanna do is gonna be to insert a photo. So I'm gonna go to my uploads and I am gonna look through all of my uploads until I find a photograph of myself. And here is one, so I'll just pop that in all you do is drag and drop and what i can do is to make this my brand colors as well so i can choose this peach color and i can go here to my brand colors but this is the thing if you guys don't have a professional account you won't have brand colors i switched over to my professional account so that i can have photos to drag and drop in here of myself. So I'm gonna use my brand colors, but if you know your colors, you can still do the same thing for free. Or you can type in the color that you want. Let's say if you want pink, you can just type in pink and it will show you all the shades of pink that you like. Also another way to get your brand colors on here, if you do not have a professional account, is just to know the numbers. I, I think they're called hex codes. It's like hashtag FFC0CB, it's like a number. You can type that number in here and it will give you the exact number of your brand color, okay? So that's the way that you can do it. So what I'm gonna do is just use mine because it's just easier for me to do that. I'm gonna change the colors of my stars as well. I'm gonna change them to this teal color. So I have to change all of them because these are individual. So you just keep clicking on these. Some images or elements will have two blocks of colors that you need to change in order for it to change. So just be um, aware of that. Okay, so I'm gonna move my follow me and I'm gonna get this star and click on it to make sure all of it turns blue. And I'm gonna do the same here, make it blue. Okay, and I'm gonna put my follow me back here. And so this background right here is an image, I think, let's see. That is an image. So if you double click, you'll know if your background is an image. So you can see that it's just moving back and forth here. So if you want to move it around, you can click on done. But if you want to change the image of your background, what you can do is go over here to the backgrounds button. And usually you can just look here through landscapes or patterns or things like that. They even have gradients. So this looks like a gradient, or you can type in whatever you like at the top, okay? So let's see, I think I want something that is more um, of texture. So let's look at all of the textures that they have. And I really like this crinkly paper look, so I'm just gonna drag and drop that into my background, or if, actually it's brick. So another way, if you don't wanna drag and drop it, you can click on this and then it will change or you can click on any image down and you can hit 
set to background. Another thing that you can do is detach it from your background and then it looks like this, okay? So you can click on this image and then go down and there will be a button that says replace a background. I don't think my screenshot is capturing it, but that's what you do. But I don't want it at all. I don't think I like it. So this is what I mean when it says detach the image from the background. So you can do that. And then you can just delete this and you can just change the color of your background to a color if you like. So I'm gonna use my brown, this the lightest shade of brown that I have and if I don't like that, I will often do even a lighter color of one of my palettes. So I like this a little bit better and I want this follow me to stand out right there. So the next thing that I'm going to do with this is going to be to download it as a PNG. So you hit share at the top download png is already there make sure that you select the one that you're working on which is going to be page number one and then you're going to click on download and it will save it as a download the next thing that you're going to want to do is going to be to open up your email if you would like to know how to make an email signature that has clickable links there are a few extra steps that you're going to have to take so make sure you follow the link up above and make sure you watch that video if you would like to have clickable links on your email signature. Okay, so we have created our email signature. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to put it into your Gmail signature block. Stay tuned. Okay, now that we're into your, the Gmail account, you're gonna click on settings. And the next thing that you're going to do is going to be to see all settings and it will load, okay? So we're gonna go down until we see email signature. So down here, it says signature and then it has no signatures so now we're going to create a new one and we're going to name this one marie standard because you can create a lot so you want to name them okay so the next thing that we're going to do is going to be to upload our new signature so we're going to go here to insert image and then i'm going to upload I'm going to select from my device, go to my downloads folder, and I'm going to click on my signature and I'm going to open it up. Okay, now that we have uploaded our email signature, we want to go down here and we want to select the signature that we want to use. We're going to use Marie Standard and we're going to go down here and click on save changes. Once it's done setting, saving, we're going to go and compose a message. As you can see, you see it's already populated in there and I'm gonna send it to my um, Yahoo. All right, and there is my email signature on there. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to create a professional email signature on Canva for free. If you're like, I don't want to do that, definitely go over to my Etsy shop and check on the templates that I have already created for you. It's a drag and drop system. All you have to do is change the colors and voila, you have an email signature. So if you want to watch how I use those templates, watch this video right here. And if you're interested in this type of content, of course, what do I want you to do? Like, comment, and subscribe.